Hi there, Mr. Luke here. Welcome to the Bertrand School of Music Instrument Fundamentals series. The goal of this program is to give you a reference point when you're not in front of your teachers and you just need a little bit of a refresher uh, on how to take care of the instrument. These instruments are not toys and require great care when you're handling them. In this series, we will be covering instrument assembly, making your first sound, and how to clean the instrument when you're all done. Please enjoy the series. And now, the instrument fundamentals for trombone. So before we begin playing the instrument, we need to get it out of the case. So we're going to make sure that the instrument is on a flat surface, and you're also going to take a look at the latch, or the handle of the case. So you want the handle to be closer to the ground, so no part is falling out when you open up the case. So you can undo the latches, and then just carefully open up the case. Now inside the case, you'll see a couple of parts. This part right here is the bell section. Underneath this flap, we have the actual slide of the trombone in here. And then our mouthpiece should be tucked away inside this case. So now that we have the instrument open and the parts figured out, let's go ahead and start putting it together. So now we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about how to put the instrument together. So as you can see down below, I have all of my three pieces to the instrument outside of the case. So this is that bell section, the slide, and then our mouthpiece. Let's go ahead and take a look at the slide for right now. So really important about the slide is your slide lock. So you can see here there's two ends. One is sticking further up, and then the other is not quite as high. If you go down the side, that's not quite as high. This is where we're going to put the mouthpiece in eventually. You'll see this little lock here. And it's just a little piece of metal that twists around. And basically what this does is prevents your slide from moving in and out when you don't want it to. So always be sure to have that locked when you're not playing because the slide can fall all the way off. So just be sure, unlocked, give it a little twist, and it's locked right up. My slide isn't going to fall at all. Okay. So go ahead and stick it right in front of you and take a look at this higher side right now. If you take a look at the bell section, we have a little part that moves right at the end. This is just the screw that's going to go on that higher side of the slide. So all we're going to do is just put that right on. And it should be at a 90 degree angle. So if you want to think about an L, kind of as a guide to, to put the instrument on, just like that, that's what you want. And then we're just going to tighten the screw down on that part. Now once that's done, you can go ahead and take your mouthpiece and we're going to stick it into the mouthpiece receiver right here, this last empty hole here. So you can just place it in and then just give it a tight or a little quarter turn to the right. Now what this is going to do is prevent it from falling out in case you have to move around or anything like that. Now notice how I did not slam the mouthpiece down in there. I just put it in and then just a little quarter turn. If the mouthpiece does get stuck, it is possible and don't worry if it does but make sure that your parents do not try to get it out with pliers or anything like that. It's very important that you use a mouthpiece puller that we have here in the store or your teacher might have. So if your mouthpiece gets stuck, make sure you always use the mouthpiece puller. Never use the pliers. All right, so now that we have that all together, let's go over a little bit about how to hold the instrument. So now let's go over how to actually hold the instrument when you'll be playing it. So we're going to go ahead and take our left hand and you can see that there's a couple braces here on the instrument. We're going to find the one that's closest to the mouthpiece, and we're going to place our thumb right there on that brace. Now you can go ahead and reach with your index finger and try to reach as far as you can up towards the mouthpiece. And then your other three fingers are just going to wrap inside the section between the slide. 
and that's going to be your grip for the left hand. Now for the right hand, you're actually going to hold this bar right here on the slide. Just take your thumb and your first two fingers and just hold it like this. So that way when you bring it into playing position, you'll be able to bring it right to your face and move the slide with ease. Now let's go over a little bit on how to make our first sounds on the trombone. All right, so now we're going to cover some of the basics on making your first sound on the trombone. So before we play it with the whole instrument together, go ahead and just take out your mouthpiece. Now how we make a sound on any brass instrument is we're actually going to buzz our lips together. So let's put our lips into the right shape. This is called our embouchure. And then we'll go ahead and start playing from there. So what I want you to think about is when you say the letter M, just the shape that your lips take when you say that M. Or another way you can think about it is being in a photograph and not wanting to smile all the way, something like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep the corners of our mouth tight, and we're actually going to blow air through the center of our lips. What this does, it should give us a buzzing sound. Now I'm not humming in my throat at all. This is all caused from the vibration in my lips. And you can actually do different types of buzzing, so the higher or lower, or the tighter your lips are, will change the sound of your buzz. Now let's go ahead and try it on the mouthpiece. What I want you to do is center the mouthpiece right on the middle of your lips and just go ahead and try to do that buzzing sound right into the mouthpiece. If you're getting that sound, that's perfect. If you're not, try blowing a little bit harder air or just letting more air come through your lips. And try to get some of the different pitches too. So now let's go ahead and put the mouthpiece back into the trombone and go ahead and get some of the sounds that we can with the instrument fully assembled. So go ahead and take your trombone, carefully stick the mouthpiece into the receiver, and then just give it that little quarter turn to the right to lock it in place there. Remember your grip. Go ahead and form the left hand and the right hand. And then we're going to go ahead and stick the mouthpiece right up to our lips. Now notice how I'm not moving towards the mouthpiece. I'm standing up nice and tall and then bringing the instrument back to me. So once we have it in this position, let's go ahead and make that buzzing sound into the mouthpiece. So that's the type of sound that you want to hear. Now if you're having a problem, your teeth might be clenched all the way. When I talk with my teeth clenched, it's very hard to understand me. But when I have my jaw open up, it's a little bit easier for me to understand. The same thing goes for a trombone. You'll have a much better tone if there's a little space in between your teeth. So you're just going to let more air out. Don't be clenched like this. Another possibility is that your tongue is going to be too high in the back of your throat. So think about saying the word ah, ah, whenever you go to the doctor and they're checking the back of your throat. That's exactly what you want to think of. Ah, be nice and open. So try it again. Let's try to see if we can get a couple different sounds. So I did that by just changing how fast I buzz my lips. Now for the favorite part of all trombonists, we're actually going to get to use the slide now. So instead of having a valve, we actually use the slide. So go ahead and just play a note and then see what happens to the sound as you move the slide in and out. So those are some of the first sounds on trombone. Now we'll go ahead and talk about how to clean the instrument when you're all done playing. So now we're going to go over just a little bit of the maintenance that is required to take care of the trombone. So go ahead and take out your care kits. If you do not have your care kit, you can either pick it up here in the store or off of our website. So go ahead and open up your kit, and we're going to be taking out our slide oil right here. This is very important just to make sure that the slide stays lubricated. So all we're going to do to lubricate the slide, notice I have my lock on, go ahead and unlock your slide and raise it up just a little bit. So we're going to make sure that the liquid is going to drop down here into the slide. So go ahead and unscrew your valve oil, or your slide oil. And then you're just going to put a couple drops up at the top and just let it run down. Okay. Now from there, you can just go ahead and work it in 
until you feel like you've gotten the slide all the way lubricated. Okay? And your slide should always feel pretty smooth. It's almost like you want to think about your slide as glass. So if the slide ever gets dented in any way or anything like that, it's not going to function properly. So make sure you take great care of the slide. It's probably the most sensitive part on the instrument. Okay, so go ahead and lock up your slide once you're done with that. And now we're going to go ahead and take out our tuning slide grease. Yours might be in a tube like this. They come in sometimes different containers, but just make sure you get your tuning slide grease out. Now, for trombone, we only have one slide that we need to grease. So what you can do is you can pull out this bottom slide back here. It'll come all the way out just like that. And what we're going to do, we're just going to open up our tube of grease, and you can just put a little bit right on to the slide. Now I usually like to work it in with my hands just a little bit or with my fingers just to make sure I get a good even coating there of the grease. And then once that's all coated, you can just make sure that it slides in and out nice and easy just to work in that grease a little bit. Now once you've done that, you're okay for your, your maintenance that's required for the trombone. So now let's go ahead and take apart the instrument. All right, so now let's go ahead and take apart the instrument. All right, so now let's go ahead and take apart the instrument now that we're done playing. So first things first, you can just go ahead and start with the mouthpiece. Just gently pull that off. Now remember, if your mouthpiece got stuck for any reason, make sure that you come in to either to the store or ask your teacher for help to get it off because you don't want to use any tool that's not recommended to get that mouthpiece off. And you can just slide that right back into your mouthpiece case. Now, to separate the bell and the slide, just remember that little slide lock that's holding it on, or the bell lock. So you can just untwist this, and then gently twist the bell and the slide, and they should separate just like this. Now that we have these separated, we can just go ahead and put the bell back into the case. It will only fit one way, and then you can just lock that in there so it stays nice and tight. Now before putting away the slide, make sure that your slide lock is on so that the slide isn't falling off while you're doing this. And we're just going to take the two empty sides here, and we're going to slide that underneath that part of the case. And then we can just close the flap and just Velcro those back into place. So now we can go ahead and close up the case. And make sure you always seal and close each latch before you lift your instrument up and walk away. So now we're all set. Have a good day. So we've covered the basics on how to put your instrument together, how to make your first sound, and how to care for the instrument in general. Please feel free to review these fundamental videos at any time, and you can also email me with questions or just to let me know how things are going at lessons at bertransmusic.com. Take care and keep playing. Thank you.